Welcome to the Grow Your Practice podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Chad Madden, owner of Madden Physical Therapy and Breakthrough. Join me each week as we dive into the best practices, systems, principles, tips, and tricks to help you grow your private practice. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to fill seats at your workshop, or the way that we used to say this was how to get butts in seats. But you know the workshop, and we talk about this a lot, we've been talking about it for 10 plus years here at Breakthrough. Workshops are very powerful. However, you must understand exactly what they are. It's an educational presentation done by you or one of your clinicians, where you're talking about a topic or a problem that's relevant for your community. So the first thing that we can think about is Topic selection is important. Early on, when I was first doing workshops in the early 2000s, the one thing that I try to do was try to be one thing to everybody. So the topic might be something like arthritis, but I'd be talking about neck and back and shoulder and knee arthritis. So four very different types of arthritis, or at least four different body parts. And what happened is we actually we ended up, nobody responded, right? Because we weren't being very specific and our advertising and our workshop diagnosis, the problem that we were solving. So what we learned from that is then we started doing a back pain and sciatica workshop. Then we added rotator cuff and uh, shoulder pain. Then we added pelvic floor and back pain in pregnancy and quite a few others over the years. But we were, were always talking about a very specific problem. So the first thing to think about is your messaging and making sure that you're specific enough so that you're relevant to a certain amount of people. The next one, the next thing that I want to get into is really the different target audiences that we can go after in our marketing. And there are three big ones. So in our <clears throat> five new patient pathways, you've heard me talk about this on other episodes, but at the, the most basic level, the lowest hanging fruit for most of us that have been in practice for a while is reactivations. These are past patients coming in for additional care. We can use the workshop as a conversion mechanism for reactivations with our past patient list, right? We could use email and direct mail text to let our past patient list know that we're having an upcoming workshop. Very easy to do, very easy to use that educational mechanism to, uh, to get reactivations. In fact, the most reactivations that we ever had in a month at a, one of our clinics was here in Harrisburg. We had 110 reactivations in a month, and it took us forever to figure out how we did that because we didn't run a promotion to our past patients or anything like that. But what we did that month is we tested something called an arthritis work, workshop. Now, with an arthritis workshop, uh, this one was very specific to um, osteoarthritis, not rheumatoid arthritis. But with osteoarthritis, in the way that we promoted it, we had a ton of people register for the event. I think it was uh, upwards of 100 people. The workshop was a disaster itself for those people who came in from cold traffic, those who did not know, like, and trust us yet. However, for our past patient list, those people converted over to our physical therapy services at a very high rate. So the, the first one that we can promote to is our past patient list. The second new patient pathway is, re is uh, word of mouth referrals. There's not too much you can do there about with workshops or none that I'm, I see working successfully, but that is a new patient pathway. Third is we can have physician referrals, right? So we're not going to do too much with workshops there. Next one up is partners. This is the first workshop I ever did was a partner workshop. It was at Bishop McDevitt High School back in 2000. I did this with Dave Brixius. We did a shoulder workshop. Bishop McDevitt High School here in Harrisburg is has had quite a few amazing athletes come through, most notably if you're an NFL fan. Ricky Waters, all-time great running back in the NFL, is a graduate of Bishop McDevitt High School, and also LaShawn McCoy. They both graduated from Bishop McDevitt. So my first workshop ever was at Bishop McDevitt High School in 2000. With Dave Brixius, we talked about shoulder pain. And in that workshop, I'm going to guess we had 50 uh, football players, <clears throat> the entire football team. So you could have partners like that promote you and your workshop. Other events that we've done, we've done events for Gold's Gym or other boutique type gyms. 
that works really well. Pilates studios, yoga studios, specialty running stores. You've heard us talk about this on here on the podcast. Most notably, Chris Gordos did one where he talked about how he's involved with Fleet Feet, a specialty running store here in central Pennsylvania. So you could have partners promote you. So, so far we have reactivations, partners promoting us. The third place that we can go is cold traffic. And this is where we're paying for advertising and we're going for, we're trying to attract people who don't know, like, and trust us yet. Right. And there's a fairly scientific way that we want to do this around market message media match. But the first thing to think about is the media selection that we're using to attract the workshop registrants. We can <clears throat> do a couple things here. We can use media that is legacy media. That would be direct mail, print ads work really well. If you have a small local paper, like the coupon clipper type paper in your area, we run a very large uh, insert in that. It's a eight and a half by 11 sheet. And there's probably about 1500 words of copy on those two pages that works well. You could do radio, television, billboards, all legacy type media. And for most markets that will still work today if people in your area are consuming that media. The other place that we can go is we can go to online. And this is my favorite. This is when I first met the co-founder and CEO here at Breakthrough, Carl Mattiola, back in 2012. This is what I was trying to figure out. I had mastered or had, let's say, effective results with legacy media. I could not figure out how to do online marketing. And I remember having a call with him before we were you know, hosting marketing courses or before the podcast or before any of our events or anything else that we were doing. And he said, what are you trying to figure out? And I said, I've spent, invested about $108,000 in trying to market these workshops online. I know there's something here, but I can't figure it out. I had figured out YouTube. I had figured out a few other things in terms of organic social media. I was not understanding how to do paid social media in any way. He said, okay, let me, let me take a look at this. He spun something up over the weekend. They promoted our workshop on Facebook, Carl did. And I think we ended up with like 54 registrants. And this was at a significantly different time in Facebook's history. I think this was maybe now 2014. So very early days of Facebook advertising where you could pretty much run anything. He generated a ton of leads and interest for this workshop. And it was super successful for us. And then he started building that out for other practice owners as well. But to get butts in seats, really three big options. You can promote to your past patient list with email, text, direct mail. Are you a practice owner with the capacity to help more people? At Breakthrough, we specialize in helping practices just like yours attract new patients by filling workshops. We provide all the tools you need from marketing automation to reactivations, email and text campaigns even partner workshops, we've got you covered. Plus, you'll get the training of how to convert your audience over to paying patients. Let our experts handle it for you, focusing on bringing in cold traffic and new faces into your practice. Here's how to get started. Visit getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. That's getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. Schedule a call with my team for an exclusive area assessment. We'll analyze your region's potential, so you're never competing for the same audience. Breakthrough is perfect for practices with a capacity to grow, those ready for more patient flow beyond word of mouth. This works best for practices with four more clinicians who are doing at least a million dollars a year in revenue. Take the next step. Visit getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. See how we can help you expand your reach. You can promote, you can have a partner promote you, which would be like the it's the Gold's Gym or the specialty running store. Another easy thing to think about is, you know, who are your largest employers in your area offering your best paying insurance? That is, you know, oftentimes they will promote you, right, for something that you're doing in-house, whether it's a lunch and learn, a workshop, health fair, et cetera. Or you can go to cold traffic. And that's a little bit trickier to manage and stick the landing on that. But yeah, very possible to do. Here at Breakthrough, we do run ads for uh, about 200 practice locations here across the country and also Canada as well. 
the other thing that you want to think about, which we've talked about here on the podcast previously, is this idea of market message media match. That in order for our marketing to work, we must align target market with the media that we're using, right? It should be media type that the target market is consuming and they're used to consuming. We should be using that in a way that they are consuming that media. And then also our messaging must be on point. Workshops are easy. You're offering information. It brings in a much better patient than if you were offering something like a free product or free service, a discounted service. Some other things to think about are <clears throat> once you nail the advertising and marketing, Something happens from the time somebody registers for the workshop until they actually show up. There are two things there to pay attention to, two variables. The first is the conversion call or that first call with your practice. It might be a text, might be an email, might be a phone call, but there should be something from your office saying, hi, Mary, this is Chad Madden over at Madden and Gilbert PT. Saw you registered for the, the shoulder pain workshop. What's going on with your shoulder? tell me a little bit about your shoulder, right? That can be a phone call, can be an email, can be a text. And then what you do from that point is that could be a whole nother episode where we talk about that confirmation call. The other thing to think about is if I register today, let's say it's Tuesday and the workshop doesn't happen until next Monday, right? And so we have six days in between, I should be receiving some consistent communication from you as well. So we set up all, here at Breakthrough, we have automation where a, a workshop registrant who comes through and registers for the event, not only are they going to talk with somebody from our practice, but every day or two, they're going to get an, a valuable piece of email from us of information that is going to, we call it indoctrination. It's really trust building is the right way to think about it. So that by the time I walk into the room or one of our presenters walks into the room, those people in the audience are going to say, oh, you're, you know, you're Dan, you're the therapist from the videos. I know you, right? So we take taking somebody in cold traffic marketing who doesn't know us in any way at all. They don't know like us and trust us. And then we're walking them over to the point where when we walk in the room, they're saying, I know you, I trust you, right? So then we deliver the workshop. But uh, in terms of thinking through um, how to fill your workshops, that is a very broad overview as well. Now, since you're stuck on here to the end, I do have something for you that you might find helpful if you're running workshops. This is called the Workshop SOP. And I have a link here for you. <clears throat> it is offer.getbreakthrough.com forward slash SOP. SOP stands for standard operating procedure. And in this case, what I did is I looked at all six things that can happen with a workshop, right? So the easiest way to think about that is this. And workshops are a little bit harder to execute than most people give them credit for. But once you figure them out, long-term, they're an amazing differentiator for you because you're out there in the marketplace, educating the public, educating your patient base, on the services that you offer and how people can overcome their health challenges naturally. So in that this SOP, and I just shared um, how to get that, you can go there, download this for free. But the workshop SOP, we talk about six scenarios. Scenario number one is <clears throat> the optimum workshop, the perfect workshop. You advertise, you have 50 registrants, 30 of those people show up, 20 of those people, whatever it might be. We find our, our best attendance is 15 to 20 in terms of helping those people schedule their first appointment. Once you get above that, it gets harder and harder to uh, present in a way that's meaningful. I've done them for 100 plus, and that is a disaster to control and help people get scheduled. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Anyhow, we have the perfect workshop. That's you run the advertisements, people show up. People schedule an appointment and they, in the end, they complete their plan of care. The first thing that can go wrong is we can have inadequate advertising, right? So we can have advertising or, you know, some sort of promotion where we get two registrants, right? That's not good. And we need to go back and take a look at those ads. The next thing that can happen, the third scenario is we can have plenty of registrants, but nobody shows up to the workshop. There, we want to take a look at the conversion call. 
Next thing that can happen, fourth scenario, is we can have people show up, people attend, but nobody schedules an appointment, right? So then we want to take a look at that workshop presentation, specifically what was said during the last five to 10 minutes of that workshop, the presentation. The fifth scenario is we can have people register for the event. So our advertising works. They show up to the event. The confirmation and indoctrination works. They schedule an appointment, but they don't schedule a plan of care. There we need to take a look at what is happening with the clinician in the room. And then the final thing that can happen is we can have adequate advertising. People register for the event. People show up to the event. People schedule their first appointment. People start on a plan of care, but then they drop off. Right in there, we we want to take a look at, we want to audit, see what our clinicians are doing in terms of plan of care treatment and progression, et cetera. Usually that starts with looking at what is being said on that first appointment as well, taking a look at that eval, what that conversation looks like. So there are the six scenarios. When you download that scorecard, you can go through, see this for yourself, and especially for those of you that are running uh, workshops right now, this will help you dial it in. Big picture is every time there is something that is non-optimum, as an owner, it is your role to look at what is going on with your workshop. So nonetheless, hope you enjoyed this episode on getting butts and seats and filling up your workshop. Uh, we talked through three target markets that you want to promote your workshop to, which are past patients, your past patient list, cold traffic marketing, and then also you can have partners promote you as well. And I also shared how you can get that workshop SOP and the workshop scorecard for free as well. Again, that link, I'll give it to you one more time here, is offerbreakthrough.com forward slash SOP. SOP is in standard operating procedure. Anyhow, hope you very much enjoyed this episode of Grow Your Practice Live, and I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Are you a practice owner with the capacity to help more people? At Breakthrough, we specialize in helping practices just like yours attract new patients by filling workshops. We provide all the tools you need, from marketing automation to reactivations, email and text campaigns, even partner workshops. We've got you covered. Plus, you'll get the training of how to convert your audience over to paying patients. Let our experts handle it for you focusing on bringing in cold traffic and new faces into your practice. Here's how to get started. Visit getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. That's getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. Schedule a call with my team for an exclusive area assessment. We'll analyze your region's potential so you're never competing for the same audience. Breakthrough is perfect for practices with the capacity to grow. Those ready for more patient flow beyond word of mouth. This works best for practices with four more clinicians who are doing at least a million dollars a year in revenue. Take the next step. Visit getbreakthrough.com forward slash area. See how we can help you expand your reach.